Hi folks, Dave, the Honest Audiophile. This is the Moondrop Variations, and these are my Honest Audiophile impressions. I want to thank Oppos Audio for providing the Moondrop Variations for review. Do greatly appreciate it. Oppos Audio, you rock. All right, so the Moondrop Variations, these will set you back $520 from the bank account. They have a tribrid configuration, a 10 millimeter LCP uh, diaphragm dynamic, Sonian high performance dual EST drivers and softer customized dual mid range balanced armatures. Impedance is 15 ohms, sensitivity 118 decibels, and a frequency response range of 9 hertz to 40 kilohertz. They come in this box with a white sleeve. You got a little bit of specs on the back, some branding, artistic flair. Then you get a black box that opens up IEMs up here and a bunch of accessories which you get a carrying case with some tips inside. As you can see, I'm using the stock tips. Silicones and foams are provided. You get a couple of uh, detachable and uh, replaceable terminations for your cable. 4.4, 2.5, and 3.5 are included. You get a tool to replace filters if necessary. You get some paperwork, uh, certificate of authenticity, warranty card, and you get a Moondrop Variations postcard. And you'll also get some warranty information if you need to fill it up. You get a carrying case, which is very interesting design, a little bit of branding. Flips open and you slide your IEM inside. Um, okay, small, might fit in a pocket, kind of odd. And then you get the variations themselves. Variations are uh, attractive looking. You got a silver plate, a silver faceplate, and then kind of a, a black ish. You can kind of see in it in the right light uh, type of shell. Got a decent angle. A little bit on the thick side. Got a very teeny tiny wing. Overall, I like the build of it. Long enough nozzle and uh, good enough shape. They are fairly ergonomic for my ears. They may cause problems for some uh, because of their shape. That wing tip may not fit quite right or the angle may be too a little aggressive or not aggressive enough. But for me, they actually fit me extremely well. They just slip right in now they are about as big as i could get with an iem if it was any bigger they wouldn't fit very well especially considering the weight is pretty hefty on these and it if it was bigger it would be falling out but it, it, it's just right for my ears isolation of outside noises is good uh you're probably blocking out somewhere 60 65 percent of outside noise is blocked um it's a very nice isolating iem so uh, around the house uh, light office duty around the neighborhoods. You'll be good. Uh, louder environments may struggle a little bit. Overall, I like the build and the design. The cable connects with two pin. Ear hooks are a little bit on the flimsy side. Do wish that they had a little bit more retention um, and tension, but they do their, their job. Nice and thin, nice metal split, no cinch, and then it terminates into the replaceable terminations. And you get the little four pin connection and it just lines right up and snaps into place. It's a very easy connection. Overall, I like the build, like the fit and the design, and I do wish that they were a little bit lighter. Drivability is very easy. Uh, they have no issues um, using dongles, daps, or desktop. They played with everything that I had. Everything was able to drive them easily. They were not very fussy or picky about what they were on. They Played on everything dongles wise and daps and desktop. Before we get into the sonic impressions of the moon drop variations, I would like to thank my supporters through YouTube, memberships, and Patreon. Thank you very much for everything that you provide to the channel. I know that these days and times in the world are not easy financially. So your sacrifices of your personal funds giving back to the channel is much appreciated. I do appreciate it very much. It means a lot to me. 
And if you are interested in uh, supporting the channel or donating to the channel, uh, check out the links down below for Patreon and for YouTube memberships. Also, you can give one-time gifts through Venmo and PayPal. Check out those links down below. While you're down there, don't forget to give a thumbs up to the video if you're enjoying it, thumbs down if you're not. And also, if you haven't already, subscribe and hit that notification bell. That way you'll know when the next Honest Audio File video is uploaded. All right, so the sonic impressions of the Moondrop Variations. Moondrop Variation. They kind of remind me of a few other IEMs uh, that I have reviewed in the past and that I currently have uh, used on a regular basis. So Moondrop Variations Bass. You like sub bass, you're gonna get it. The variations have a a lot of sub bass. They are very much sub bass prominent. Uh, nice girth, nice body, nice uh, thump, grumble, rumble, all that kind of stuff down there in the sub bass region. It's there. It has a lot of presence, but it stays well controlled. It's very well detailed and very uh, nicely resolving. But the mid bass and the upper bass are are thinning out as they go and it just loses its impact and slam and it's note weight it just doesn't really drive it home it, it the sub bass is there but the rest of the bass is just kind of ho-hum meh i'm just giving you the the information but i'm not really emphatic about it i don't have a lot of authority i don't have a lot of impact and it kind of gets boring because it's not really driving it home it's not engaging Overall, the tonality of the bass is very nice. It has a naturalism to it. It just lacks body weight and note weight in the uh, in the main mids and in the upper bass, or excuse me, main bass and upper bass. Mids. The mids are also thin. They lack note weight, especially in the bottom end of the mids. They really don't have a lot of note weight and don't have a lot of density to it. And they can at times sound a little bit hollow, a little, a little too lackluster. And it, they kind of induce boredom. They have, again, good tonality. It sounds natural, but it just doesn't have the note weight. It doesn't have the, the drive and the gusto and, and the emphaticism that I'm looking for in the mids. Upper mids are the same. They're kind of thin, but they're well controlled. And I, I like the tonality, but some instruments, especially instruments that reside in a little bit of the lower end of the mids, just don't sound full enough and have enough body. Guitars, pianos, cellos, brass instruments, they just lack that kind of gusto in that body. Treble. To about 8 to 10K, treble is okay. Then it kind of tails off. And it goes into laid back mode. It kind of chills out. And you lose some air. And you lose some space. And it just becomes a little ho-hum. And again, it induces boredom. The variations. Good tonality. Lack body. Nice details. Good resolution. But they're boring. They just induce boredom for me. And, and they just don't engage. It doesn't have enough sparkle and enough energy throughout. Soundstage. The soundstage of the variations is wide. Uh, it does a good job of portraying accuracy and what I would consider a recording to sound like with my imagination. You know, if it's going to be a smaller, intimate uh, stage, it can do that. If it's going to be a little bit more big and grand sounding it can do that has nice depth you can look you can read into a stage has good imaging things flow across the stage while and you can pinpoint and go it's right there it's right there it's right there and it does a good job with that detail retrieval is good all the way throughout doesn't lack anything you're not going to miss out any of the details and it does a really good job with resolution tone and timbre sounds natural sounds accurate just doesn't have the body and the gusto and and the, the the realism that I wish it had, especially for this price point. Sounds all right. Just wish it had a little bit more. So I mentioned before we got into the sonic impressions that the Moondrop variation reminds me of a couple IEMs. What does it remind me of? 
Well, it reminds me of something that's a lot cheaper. And that's the Moondrop Kato. Now, the Kato is interesting because it's kind of like a mini variations. It, to me, it's about 98% of what the variations is. Variations have better sub bass extension, have a little bit more rumble and grumble there. But the Kato has better mid and upper bass. They're not as thin sounding. The Kato has better mids, body, and note we. They sound more natural and accurate. The Kato has better treble extension. There's more energy, more sparkle. The Kato is more engaging. It doesn't induce boredom like the variations do. But the variations are a little bit more detail um, retrieving and a little bit better resolving. If you have the Kato, I don't feel like the variation is enough of, a, of an upgrade unless you really, really think that you need just a little teeny tiny bit more of detail retrieval and sub bass extension. I'd stick with the vari with the Kato over the variations. And then the other IM is the Zen's Mangird Top. And the Zen's Mangird Top has better bass presence and has better mid and upper bass, especially. And the top just does the bass better. It's more controlled, has more accuracy. It sounds more uh, full and engaging, has better energy. And overall, the bass is just an improvement over the variations. The top has better mids, uh, body, and note weight. It's just more full, more natural, has better realism. And the top has more energy and excitement. Also, it's more engaging. It has better extension into the treble, more air, more space. The top has better detail retrieval and resolution. Top is more accurate with tone and timbre. The top has more accurate width, depth, and spacing in the stage. And it is more precise in its placement. And overall, the top is just a better IEM than the variation. And I would take the Zen's Mangird top over it. Moondrop variations. They're a good IEM. And they sound good. They, they do a lot of things well. But they have a few little niggles about them. Note weight and body is a big one. And also a lack of air and space and extension in the treble. And just being a little too laid back and mellow. I like the variations, but I prefer the Kato and the top over them. It's been Dave, the Honest Audio File. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Speaking of next video, somewhere on screen, subscription links, notification bells. If you haven't already, please check those off. Don't forget to give a like or a unlike to the video. Also, check out the links down below. There's all kinds of information on there regarding how you can contact the channel, follow the channel, support the channel. All that kind of stuff is down below, along with ways that uh, you can check out my tier list, my music recommendations, and all kinds of other things are down below. So check out those links. And finally, don't forget to enjoy the music and that honesty is the best policy.